Hi everyone, welcome to another day, day 35 of Software Secrets Daily Tips. I'm Garrett Pearson and welcome all of you that are new and thank you for watching these videos. Uh, like this video if you like what I have to say, share it with your friends, we'd really appreciate that. So today I'm going to talk about how to build a successful software business and I'm going to talk about the six P's that uh, my business partner Scott Brandley and I came up with um, a couple weeks ago. This is, you know, we've, we've always had these six things in, our, in the back of our mind, but we've never wrote them down and really focused on them. So these are the six things that help make a company successful in our opinion, okay? And we call them the six Ps, and I'm gonna go in order of importance, okay? And I'm gonna talk about each one a little bit today. Okay, so P number one, product, okay? Two, process, three people, four promotion, five profit, six philanthropy, okay? Those are the six P's that I believe and, and Scott and I believe are the most important things to focus on in any software business and in any business for that matter. And they are, they're in order of importance because number one, product, Okay, if you do not have a good product, first of all, it's gonna be hard to build processes around it. People aren't gonna to wanna to join your team if your product sucks, essentially. Sorry to be rude. But um, you're definitely not gonna be able to promote it very well, and you can say goodbye to profits. If you do not have a good product, product is where it all starts. Okay, you can't sell your product if it sucks. You can't get partners to join your your partners as in affiliates or whatever it is that are gonna help spread the word about your product, okay, if it's not very good. So it all starts with product. You have to build a great product. Now, in the software world, we're what we've been teaching you over the last 35 days is build a minimum viable product, okay? Minimum viable product doesn't mean a product that sucks. It just means the least amount of features that you need to get to market. That's all it means, okay? So don't build a product, and your product will improve over time, but build a product that is great. Two, process. Once you've built an awesome product, now you have, need to build processes, automations, things to help your, um, your company move along, move forward, and think of these as kind of the day-to-day -day operations um, of your business. You need to build processes so that you don't have to do everything. And that's where the next piece comes, which to me is one of the most important, which is people. But if you don't have a good product or good processes, those people will suffer. They won't succeed if you don't have the right processes and you help build those processes, processes so those people can succeed. And you won't be able to keep people if you're not building processes that help them do their job well, okay? The next piece is once you have the, good, the people in place, now you need to promote your product. And you should have been doing this all along, but this is really how you grow your software business is promotion, sales and marketing. They are two different things, okay? Sales and marketing, and I'll get into further videos about the difference between the two, but um, this is where you have to, if you are not promoting and marketing your product, selling your product, it's not going to be profitable. So that's the next piece, is profit. And as, as evil as that word is these days, it's not an evil word. Because if you are not profitable, you cannot pay your employees, you cannot improve your product, you cannot promote, you need to receive value back, the value you receive, the value you give for your product is based on what people are going to pay you and that's the monetary value that you receive for creating an awesome product. And if you're not receiving the revenue you need to make your product successful or make your company successful, you're not gonna be able to pay your employees. It doesn't matter even if you get funding or anything, profit, is always the key to success. And it's not the only key, that's why we have six Ps. 
So that brings us to the next piece. If you're profitable, you can give back and be philanthropic. It doesn't matter how you do that. You, it could be scholarships to kids. It could be you're giving a lot of more people jobs. It can be um, giving back to people that need help monetarily. So for example, some things that Scott and I like to do in, in our businesses and we're getting our, our, all the our team members involved is we like giving back to um, orphanages and people uh, and kids and, and schooling and we've been to Kenya a couple times. We're going to Guatemala next month and we'll be, I'll be talking a little bit more about that and how you can become involved as well. So be philanthropic. So those are the six P's of a successful business. And whenever we have meetings, whenever we, Scott and I have our, what we call our 50,000 foot view meetings, we talk about these six P's individually. Okay, so product, process, people, promotion, profit, and philanthropy. Now these are ours, and it's our, our opinion of what a successful business needs to focus on and do. You could have your own. Okay, you might have your six A's, whatever it is, or three A's, whatever or five P's or whatever it is, you need to come up with what you believe a successful business is and then go and build it. So hope you, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Click like, share it with your friends, and have a wonderful day.